everyone, this is DJ Nelly Darkfold. I know it's been a long time since I've seen my face, eh? Anyway, uh, this is the fifth episode of Nelly's Notables. Guess what I'm doing for this one? I am going to talk about motivation and determination. When it, they kind of go together, kind of like peanut butter and jelly kind of thing. So anyway, what inspired me to do this one is because I see a lot of, in the Sims community in particular, it might happen in other communities, it might happen in life, it might happen anywhere. The people lose faith in themselves and they give up too easily and they lose inspiration. They lose this, they lose interest completely of uh, whatever they're working on and they just go up and leave or quit or whatever they plan to do and to be perfectly honest that's the one thing that bugs me the most about sims directors and voice actors and whoever uh people in general who give up things too easily just because things get tough um Personally, uh, as an updated note, on a side note, I'm planning to make my own Sims series, well, it's kind of like a mini-series, and I got an idea in my head. A really cool one that hasn't been done before, especially the Sims community. I've never seen an, a series like it before, but I'm not telling you what it's about or anything, so it will spoil the surprise. And... I got a director on board that was going to help me out with filming it and stuff. I'm hoping this turns out okay. I'm in the very beginning stages of writing out the script and writing out the plot line, writing out the characters, all that stuff. So I'm still taking my dead time with it. The thing is, I'm not giving up on it. That's the thing. Um, I think life is too precious to give up on things that you love. I know YouTube is a hobby for a lot of people and it's basically an excuse not to take it so seriously because it is a hobby. I have a poetry as a hobby. Um, I write poetry like for about 20 plus years and I uh, have been writing poetry for quite a long time. and. Um, I never gave up on that hobby, and it's a hobby I really take seriously, and it's very dear to my heart, and something I never give up on. Sometimes I lose inspiration, sometimes I lose interest in what I'm writing about, but it doesn't mean I'm giving, scrapping it all together, because I'm not. Um, I still write from time to time. Not as much as I used to when I was a teenager because I was going through a lot more stuff back then. Um, I used to have, I used to write poetry as a, a therapeutic tool to get through my problems I was going through at the time, my emotional issues I was dealing with at the time. And um, that's basically what I use poetry for. Now that I have no, not that I have it on emotional issues or anything like that. Now I'm more older and wiser. And I'm more mature than I was when I was 19, 18, 19, even 15 years old. That, you know, I know a little bit more than I did back then. So I basically know how to handle myself a bit more. And my grandmother told me a long time ago, this is like she's been passed on since I was in high school, so it's a very, very long time ago. And she, she I'm quoting her, and he's saying, there's no such word as can't. Can't is not in your vocabulary. It should not be in your vocabulary. I can't do this. I can't do that. Who says you can't? Just because you lose motivation for some times, for some things, it does not mean you can give up. Um... I haven't given up. I just want to, um, I want to keep going and, um, you know, 
the story that comes to mind when it comes to motivation and ter determination is one of my good friends. Well, she was a good friend of mine. We kind of drifted apart in the years. As a life um, tends to do to us. Anyway, her story goes like this. I met her when she was 15 years old. And I was about 17. I met her in the hospital. She was in the children's hospital because she was in a car accident. She was hit by a drunk driver from the back on, so she never seemed to on, so she went flying out the window. She's paralyzed from the left side, okay? And she's in a wheelchair for quite a long time and in the hospital for about a year or more. And trying to recuperate and rehabilitate herself. She had to learn how to walk, she learned how to talk, she had learned how to do everything herself. All back from her accident. Her accident was pretty severe. So she was lucky to be alive. She said to me back then, she had a boyfriend, all that stuff. Boyfriend left her because you can handle the disability, quote unquote, like whatever. But anyway, she's married now and happy, so good for her. She always said to me, Net, I'm going to walk down the aisle on my wedding, on my wedding day, whenever that will be. I'm like, I vow to you, I will do that. Now I'm like, okay, sure, if you want to do that. And back of my head's like, there's no way, that's not possible. She's paralyzed from the left side, how can't you do it? And, Lord and behold, 20 years later, she does walk down the aisle. That takes determination and motivation to get better and get where she needs to go. And that's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. It might take a long time to get somewhere, but once you get there, you'll get, oh my God, the, the, the rewards are unrelenting. I mean, I love it. Like, I don't give up on anything. I had times where I have writer's block for three or four years. I just take those three or four years and think about what I'm going to write about next. That's what stresses me out the most. <coughs> Excuse me. But I will plan to um, do... Um, I plan to, you know, not give up on it. I plan to write. I still write. And I'm challenging myself. I'm writing a script. So, there you go. And I'm not giving up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I know a lot of you are kids. And trust me, I've been there. I've been a kid before. I know what it feels like. And as a kid, you like, oh, God, how can I do this? And I'm like, you can do this. This is what you have friends for. Keep you motivated. And it's good to have a circle of friends who are on the same page as you are and can keep you motivated and keep, keep you in a situation where you just get people behind you saying, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Don't give up. You can do it. So, that's my thought of the day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it was a bit shorter than my last video. My last video was quite long. Um, the one I did myself, I'm not my not home. Um, but, anyway, I plan to do more poetry, in, and Gianna is going to help me with uh, more poetry in the future someday. And, um, when she gets time, I'm sure. And um, we'll say hi to everyone and love you guys and take care of yourselves. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas. And I'll see you in 2013. Bye, guys.